What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2s, reviewing them, and talking about whether or not they helped me break three in the marathon. I've only raced in these one time at my debut in the marathon at Surf City where I ran 241.13. I don't want to waste any of your time. Let's get right into it and talk about the pros and cons of this shoe. So let's start with some of the downsides of this shoes, the cons, and the first thing I want to talk about is something very practical, and that is just the overall price of these shoes. $250 is a lot of money. With tax, we're talking $270. That is more expensive than the fancy dinner I took my girlfriend out to for Valentine's Day. For $270, I could buy two pairs of training shoes that I could run on for months and months and put on hundreds and hundreds of miles. When you're training for and competing in a marathon, there are a lot of costs. Just to register for the race could be, you know, anywhere from $100 upwards of $200. If you're running somewhere out of town, you have to pay for transportation, flying, driving there. Maybe you have to take a day or two off of work like I did because I work on the weekend so we're missing out on the opportunity cost to race so when you have to add on the cost for $250 for a shoe it's really a lot of money when you're doing some comparing and contrasting with the other companies that offer specialized marathon shoes these are definitely in the upper echelon and you're gonna have to pay a little bit more money for the quality of these Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2s. Continuing on with the cons number two this kind of goes hand in hand with the price is the durability I've only worn these shoes one time so I've yet to see the deterioration that that is supposedly very quick on these shoes. But from the many people I've talked to in person, they say that there is not a lot of life in these things and you really have to keep them on ice between races. Some people disagree online that I've looked on some forums and people say that the durability really is not as bad as people say. Realistically, it's probably somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna guess these shoes are gonna give me maybe 100 to 125 miles maybe before they start to lose their pop significantly. I have no idea though. Just from what I've heard though, the majority overall says that there is not a ton of durability durability in these. As much as I would love to rip like a long workout or a tempo in these things and probably run a really fast time, I just don't have the money to wear these things down and have to buy another pair of them the next time I do a marathon. So that's definitely a downside. However, I mean, when you're looking at specialty racing shoes, I really don't see a need to wear them in workouts and training runs and you really only have to wear them for races. So in terms of marathons, if you're only running two marathons a year, you know, these last for maybe a hundred miles, let's say on the lower end, that's four marathons. That's two years of good racing in these things before you need to buy a new pair so not too bad overall but they're definitely not going to last as long as your normal trainer or anything like that so the durability is definitely something that's a little bit lackluster but it's to be expected really with this category of shoe I would say. The third downside of this shoe and this is a big one for me maybe some of you can personally relate to this is the overall narrowness design of the shoe. I'm someone who has very wide feet when I order running trainers I have to order the wide size or sometimes even the double wide size and when I first tried these on it was very very noticeable how narrow they were and they were a little uncomfortable I had to end up sizing up which worked out for me but when you do size up sometimes there can be other problems you know you might have heel slippage something else might feel a little bit loose and when you're running a marathon you want to make sure everything feels nice and snug but not too snug and comfortable 26 miles is a long way and you want to make sure everything is just perfect for your feet overall so that's something you need to take into consideration for sure when you get the shoe please 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 go into a store and try these things on in real life. Don't order these online sight unseen without having tried them on at one point in store to make sure. $250 is a lot of money and you don't want to have to invest in the shoes and get them just to find out that they're too narrow and you have to return them and get a new size and maybe you won't get them in time for the marathon. A bunch of things can happen so just go on, try these things in store please and make sure they're right for you. There are some other racing shoes from different companies of course that I've heard that have a little bit better wider toe boxes. I really wanted to go with these shoes though and try them out for the marathon so I ended up just sizing up and like I said everything worked out which was awesome but something about these shoes that I definitely would prefer is if they were a little bit wider for my wide feet in the toe box and I know some other people struggle with these too I don't see Nike ever making a wide variation just because the market I don't think it makes sense really for them to create a whole wide variety of this shoe just to accommodate those people that do have the wide feet but yeah overall the narrowness of the shoe is something that is definitely a downside for me so now let's talk about the pros of the shoe, the good parts, and there really only is one overarching pro about these shoes, and that is that they work, and they work very, very well. They were designed specifically to help you run a faster marathon, and they will help you do exactly that. When I first laced these up and tried them out a week before the marathon, I was surprised at how cushiony and supportive they felt, but at the same time, just light, quick. Felt like I was floating, really, when I ran in them. 
Just finished my first four mile run in the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2s, four miles, 603 average. I know there's a lot of hype surrounding these shoes and it might just be a little bit of placebo. A lot of people telling me how great these shoes are. I've been wanting to try them for so long, but there's definitely something about these shoes. They got a crazy amount of pop. That is by far one of the easiest runs I've ever um, done at that pace, 603 for four miles. I ran 241, so I really do believe I would have broken three no matter what. Obviously, these things didn't take 20 minutes off my time. If you're someone who's in 310, 315 marathon shape and you think these are going to help you break three, they're not going to do that. They're not going to shave off that much time. It's really difficult to say how much time um, these shaved off for me, maybe like two to three minutes. I don't know. It really is hard to calculate that, but I definitely did feel way better than I think I would have with any other shoe going into the race, and they really helped my confidence for the last few runs going into the race when I tried them out. I felt so quick, so light, and yeah, it really just helped me go into the race with a very positive mindset knowing these things were gonna do their job. So yeah, I mean, despite all the cons, the cost, the durability, the narrowness, I am very, very happy with my purchase. And I think the pro of these shoes just doing their job and helping you run faster and run a better, more efficient marathon totally outweighs the cons. I would definitely recommend trying these out if you haven't given them a shot yet and uh, go out, purchase them, definitely try them on first and uh, make the investment if you're able to. If not, there's still other great companies that make marathon specific shoes and I'm actually probably gonna try out some other ones and maybe review those too to see how they do. Maybe, you know, the Hoka, Adidas, all the other brands um, to see how they compare. But this is the only one I've tried so far and it is definitely, um, I think the epitome of marathon running as far as shoes go. I'm just very, very happy with how they turned out. If you have any other questions about these shoes in the comments down below, just feel free to ask them and I'll be happy to answer them. But going to be putting these away until the next race. Overall, very, very pleased. Go out and get yourself a pair of these if you want to run a faster marathon. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what video you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace. Thank you.